Hey family, I'm back. Um, tape had ran out and um, I had to put that footage on my laptop and come back and finish the other half as I was talking about Mimi from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So we're just going to pick up where we left off. And I know I've been doing a lot of scratching and stuff, but you know, for some of you guys that might be a little somewhat concerned, I did go swimming and I just simply rinsed off. Um, but I didn't, I didn't take, you know, I didn't shower, take a full shower to take the chlorine off. So it's like my skin is dry, you know, and it's itchy. <laughs> so I don't have no eczema or no shit like that. So I don't want nobody to be like, well, what the hell? What's wrong with she? Is this bitch on man? Why is she picking at her skin? Yeah. None of that old type of shit, no. It's just from the chlorine, and it be having me itchy. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, but no less, we'll be talking about Mimi. Mimi, Mama, I can identify with um, some of the things, you know, um, that are going, some of the things that you've go gone through and where you are in life. I can identify with that. Um, but the only issue, truly, that I really see is the fact that you're, you're just building a mountain of explanation for your daughter. You know what I'm saying? If it was just you, and you was out here doing you, and you hanging off of motherfucking rods, and you doing all this and that and this, and you got to, you know, touch me not, and you got all this right here going, and you and Jocelyn doing y'all thing, and you and Stevie, and y'all doing y'all thing, and threesome, and all this. If, if it was just you, I don't think anybody would really give two fucks about it. But when the reality comes around that you have a daughter and a young daughter at that, that's when people kind of be like, damn, what the fuck? No, damn. You know, that's when motherfuckers start acting like that. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, mama, I just, I don't know, baby. I don't know. You know, um, you, you just... You're doing just a little bit too much, you know, and I'm not understanding, like I was saying a while ago, I'm not understanding, you know, um, your money management must not be that good, you know, even though I understand, you know, you wasn't getting no support from Stevie and all that, you put that out there, that was your own admission, but it's like, you've been on the show for a few years now. And then you also had the proceeds from the video, but yet and still every season you're moving. You're moving to a new place every season. And it just doesn't look good. It shows um, instability. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it seems as though you're still searching for something. Um, and it's like you're all over the place and you're doing too much. One moment you're doing music, the next minute, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because you were doing music as far as in the background, as far as producing and such. You know, and then, you know, um, it seems like you, you're doing the interior design and such like that. But I think you were doing that before. I think you had given mention about that before. That was ra rather lucrative for you. And that's been your bread and butter for some time. You know, but it's like, you know, but you're doing all these other little twists on the side. You know what I'm saying? Which lets, you know, some people believe that, you know, maybe you living in just a little bit above your means. You know what I'm saying? Because by now, for sure, you should have been able to buy you a nice little pad. You know, for you and your baby that you can afford to wear. You ain't even really tripping on what Stevie got going on. But that shit, that shit will help. And we ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to tell a motherfucker that he can't give us nothing. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know, as much shit as you done done, by now you should have a home. You know what I'm saying? Not still moving every season from a place to another place. It just doesn't look right when you see a person moving so often. It's like, wow, what is with all of this jumping around? There's no stability. You know what I'm saying? When you see people jump from job to job, you know, they change their telephone numbers all the time. You see people that move a whole lot of times. Every time they got a different car, you know, they dating somebody new. It's always something new. It's just a turnover all the time. Something is really wrong with that because you really want some stability in your life. You know, you really want to just kind of, you know, be cool a little bit. 
you know, now it could just be me. I don't know. But the way my mindset work is, shit, after a while, you want to get somewhere and sit the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is mine right here. Don't fuck with it. And, uh, nigga, uh, we just getting ready to go ahead on and live. You know, travel and move on in our journey and our life. Not continue to keep going back and then going forward. Then going back and going forward. And I understand that it takes some people longer than others. But you might want to get to the root of the problem as what is it that you're searching for as to why you're not finding it and why you're moving all these places. You're moving all these pieces, these chess pieces. People, cars, places, money. I mean, you just moving motherfuckers around. You know? Now, you an old girl, you know what I'm saying? Hey, do it till you satisfied. You know what I'm saying? You a grown-ass woman. And that touch me now, shit, I ain't even mad at that motherfucker shit, nigga. Uh, look, check this out. Low-key, uh, holler. You know what I mean? That seems like that's a cool-ass motherfucking process. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker don't want you to touch them, but then therefore they satisfying you. Nigga, uh... Yeah. Shit, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Shit. Monday, Wednesday, and motherfucking Friday. Quit playing with me, Mike. You know what I mean? Shit, hey. But even still with that, you know, I don't know if you just was like, I don't know, but you, okay. One thing I do know is that people that are hurting hurt other people. And old girl really was digging you. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, you know what I'm saying? You really made me think about, you know, going on through with the process and all this other kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? She bought you a nice little, look like a little nice little Prada bag. You know what I'm saying? Nice. You know what I'm saying? This bitch was really feeling your motherfucking ass. Now, maybe you just wanted to see what that mouth do. You know what I'm saying? You know, you could have just been one of them to just see what that mouth do. But... In the interim, don't hurt nobody in the process. Don't play with nobody's emotions. You know what I mean? If you wasn't really in it to really be this woman's woman or whatever, then therefore, mama, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't get in too deep with these motherfuckers if you're really not trying to solidify some shit with these motherfuckers. And if you just having fun, just let these motherfuckers know. Look, check this out. I'm just having fun right now. I'm just really doing me and raising my daughter and all of those type of shit. But see, the thing is, though, is when you start... Meeting all these different people, and then your daughter is meeting these people. You know what I'm saying? And see, one thing about it, you don't bring these motherfuckers to the path. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do all that shit, meet them motherfuckers out in the streets. Don't bring all these motherfuckers to your sacred place where you and your daughter dwell. You know what I mean? Because now your daughter is getting attached to people that are, you know, seemingly just going away. It's like, Mom, what happened to so-and-so? Mom, what happened to whoop de whoop Mom, what happened? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what is this? You know? So, mama, I just say make your money, get responsible with your money, figure out what it is that you're really trying to do. I understand that Stevie hurt you, but you're going to have to find a way to let that shit go. You understand? And I know that it's hard because, hey, I put in 20 plus. You know what I'm saying? So, I know. But when it, but it, 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 it clearly shows that you're still holding some feelings because you're still crying. When the tears dried up, that means, nigga, if you don't go ahead on and do your shit, nigga, you got your dick out of everything. Nigga, I don't want to taste it or nothing, nigga. I'm cool. Uh, nigga, put all that back in your pants. I'm good tonight. I'm going to need you to go home, though. You know what I'm saying? See, now, I don't know if you're there yet. I don't think you are because you're still crying. As long as you're crying, you're still caring. You know what I'm saying? A nigga still can get in. But when all them tears and shit dry up, then a nigga know, look, check this out. It's a rap on that. She ain't feeling me no motherfucking mode. Nigga got to get going. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got to go. You know? So, mama, just, you know, just be mindful of that shit right there. Because you, you're doing a lot. You're bringing a lot of motherfuckers in and out of your cabin and shit. You got a baby right here, a girl like that, that, you know, it's not really a good look for her to see. But, you know, still I wish you nothing but the best. You know what I'm saying? And I really hope that you find what you're looking for. Because it's like you're out here really, you know, searching for something that you just... You know, I don't know. You're a beautiful lady. I don't I don't understand. And now that they showing delicious coming on the motherfucking scene, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a, that's a motherfucking hard act to follow right there. Because that's a bad motherfucker. I love Mr. Motherfucking London Charles. That's my motherfucking partner. Yes, very beautiful lady. Yes, 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 yes. And to see her motherfucking ass now. Okay, so is this motherfucker now going to be on the show? And she fucking with Stevie, what's going on with this shit now? Because they left it open, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, wow.
Jocelyn, I don't know, baby. You can't really fuck with that. Nah, mama. Because first of all, your shit done got a little wore out and a little tired now anyway. Everybody know that you like to fuck. Everybody know that you like to get fucked up. Everybody know you go two or three different motherfucking ways. And everybody know that you ain't got a problem with putting them motherfucking hats on your goddamn head. If you don't take some of them motherfucking wigs off your motherfucking head, you know what I'm saying? Like you straight from the motherfucking Usher boy. You had one on the night. The motherfucking look. I said, oh my God, what is with this little short dude she got on? What's going on? What the hell? Come on now. I'm one to really talk, but damn it, Jocelyn. This motherfucking season right here, baby, you was pulling for straws. It was like, you know what? I'm finna just do, I'm just finna wreck some shit up. I'm finna start up a whole bunch of shit. I'm about to lie about everything, but what it did was make you look real bad. And now that you're looking so bad, now you're angry because the joke is really on you. And now come to find out, now you're supposed to be pregnant too? Mama, what are you doing? If you don't slow the fuck down, but on flip side to it though, you ain't got no husband and you ain't got no kids from the way it seems at this point in time. So really, you could do all the fuck you want to do. Party till like it's 1999, roll it till the wheels fall off, do it till you're satisfied. You qualified for all that motherfucking shit. The turn up is supposed to have been all the way real with you. Because you didn't have no responsibilities, no motherfucking way. So who could say what? Who could say any motherfucking thing? You're supposed to do all that motherfucking shit right there. You're supposed to do that. All that you're supposed to do it. Hell yeah. But show some dignity and some respect for yourself, though. All this right here, sleeping with that one, this one, this one, this one, all these bitches and shit and all this shit. And, and then talking about it like it's the thing to do. Baby, everybody is kind of played out with it now. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like you're a ticket time bomb. Motherfuckers don't know what the fuck you're about to do. But I think it has a lot to do now with not only uh, your past pain, but also I think it has a lot to do with substance abuse. I don't want to put that on you. But all these highs and lows like this right here, I don't know, mama. I don't know now. I don't know now. I worked at a psych, at, 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 at a psych nurse for a few years. You know what I'm saying? And, um... These highs and lows, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? There's a diagnosis for that. You know what I'm saying? We was giving out all kind of hell doll shots for bitches that went on 10. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't bring them motherfuckers back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, nigga. If you don't tackle this motherfucker down to the ground so we can go and get this bitch some hell doll to slow this motherfucker down right quick. You know what I'm saying? Giving Depico, Depakine, all that old type of shit. Sy Syroquel and all that shit. Out of van. Yeah. I don't know what you might need, but you might need a little lithium, a little Thorazine or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Serotonin levels might be a little off. You know what I mean? A little chemical imbalance. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But your shit is so ticking time bomb, mom. You, you know, you can't run up on everybody like that, though. You know what I'm saying? But I think you know which ones you can do that with. But you can't really roll up on everybody like that. And I mean, what is all this throwing throwing water and shit. I mean, you, you did just right. You're supposed to just chill on that bitch. Like, is this what? Oh, okay. Now, I know, I understand it was a little bit embarrassing because then you was like, if you don't escort this bitch up out of here, you that's when you start getting a little bit embarrassed. But for the most part, you was like, bitch, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I understand it fucked up the suit and all that old type of shit. You was awful laid out that day and all that old type of shit. But you know this bitch is crazy. You know, and Jocelyn, mama, you know, I don't know. It just seemed like, you know, your little shine is kind of, you know what I'm saying? And now you're really pulling for straws because you know it's at the end of your little run. Your shit is a little played out now. You're doing the same shit, saying the same shit. Now you lying on motherfuckers, serious character flaw. Calling the police on motherfuckers and doing it, man, all that kind of shit right there. And they get your ass fucked up. Real shit. You know what I mean? Now, I understand that. You know, these cameras is rolling. They're not going to let the, the fights and shit get all out of hand and all that old kind of shit. But I'm really wondering, are you really about that life, though? Because, really, if you really want to fight these motherfuckers, why wait for the cameras to get rolling? If you really know where these motherfuckers live at, go knock on the door. Go do a little home visit or something. If you really want to squab with these motherfuckers. I'm just saying, why wait until the cameras and shit is rolling? You know what I'm saying? Because now the cameras are saying who hit you, who, hit who first. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, cut all the bullshit. Uh, bitch, um, yeah, uh, 
I just decided that I'd stop by. I saw your car in the driveway. I just want to see what was up with you. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and render what you need to. But why wait in front of the cameras and all this old type of shit? Because you know motherfuckers is going to be grabbing you and tossing you around and the cameras and all this shit. And this is the season finale. Got to go out with a bang and all this old type of shit. Man, come on now. Come on now. You and your partner came in like Smokey and the Bandit. I don't know what she had. Glass. What, what was y'all on? Were y'all niggas high? I don't, I don't know what y'all niggas was on. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. You know, because it's like, what are you trying to do? Mona. I don't know, but now look like to me we can kind of push Jocelyn out, respectfully find you something else to do, mama. Your shit on the show now is a little bit tired. Now you're doing the same shit, respectfully. Now, uh, now this other one, she needs some bona fide ass help, okay? We're going to need Tommy to get some help. That motherfucker needs some help, I mean, like on some real shit. My heart really pours for this young lady right here. She needs some help. Jocelyn, y'all done done all y'all can for this motherfucker at this point in time. Um, let her go head on and go wherever, wherever her motherfucking Puerto Rican princess, whatever her get down here, go and let her go and see what's happening with that. Because she's a ticking time bomb and she's not going to do nothing but going to draw some lawsuits and shit to this shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, Jocelyn, she's going to show out. She's going to call you a bunch of bitches. She's going to do all this right here. She's going to throw some wine and wine bottles and throw water and shit on bitches. I mean, it's like, nigga, that's tired. It's over with. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jocelyn. I don't want to fuck with your dough, but mama, um, your time has come for us to say goodnight on Jocelyn. Okay? Now, but let's talk about Mama D, though. Nigga, you done already put it out there. Look, look, I'm throwed off. Uh, what you say, uh, what they call that shit, two kites to the wind or some shit like that? Kenny said some shit like that one day. I'm two kites in the wind or some shit like that. Mama, you so gone. Oh, my God. I don't know what the fuck. But I like your new little record. It's catchy. I ain't heard it yet over here on the West. But I like to see how they doing the little dance. I bet it's real smooth. Um... <laughs> You threw me for a loop, though, when you got to talk about your dude's package and how he wasn't able to do all that, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you know, once again, this is, you know, this is a show of motherfuckers trying to get storylines, but, mama, I don't know. I don't know. You know, and you, you come up in there with some real crazy shit, shaking shit on shit, and you on some voodoo shit. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... I think during the off season we're going to revamp Mona on what we're going to do about the dynamics of this show. You're going to have to call a meeting, okay, and see what we're doing with the show. Stevie, yeah, he's going to be a staple in the show because now look like he's bringing delicious in. That's a good ass look. You know what I'm saying? That's a good motherfucking look. Okay, so I can see that. Tommy, keep her going because we need to see what's happening with her. Um, Tierra, yeah, her and Tommy is tied, this and that and other, and they got, you know, um, uh, you got the mama and all that, and this motherfucker look like she done just got out of the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, what's her name, KK or some shit like that, I don't know what's going on with that, so yeah, give them one more little season, see what's going on with them, Mimi, mama is kind of getting kind of, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Because your storyline, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Stevie J is the ties that bind with that. So I could see them bringing, back, bringing you back to see what's going to happen with the child support order or whatever, I guess, or whatever. But then I guess he's going to be with somebody else. Hopefully delicious. I, well, not. I can't really say hopefully because, damn... D, I don't really want to see you with him, no. Real shit. I don't really want to see her with him. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody's trying to make some money nowadays. So, hey, let's keep these motherfucking cameras rolling. You know what I'm saying? Cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, um, so pretty much that's it. Um, I would love to see Tammy. I would love to see Scrappy. I would love to see um, uh, Bambi come back. Um, um. The one that's doing music, the transgender young lady, beautiful young lady. I don't know too much about her, though. So, you know, I think she's a gorgeous girl. 
So I don't know. She can kind of go ahead on with her little partner. You know what I'm saying? She can go ahead on and go. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's it. I don't know what else. So I guess that's my review. That's my wind up, a round up for the, for the full season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I don't know what season it was, but it will be in the description below. <laughs> I don't know it like that. But I just know what I've seen and I had to speak on it. I had to speak on it on tonight. So anyway, family, I'm out of this one. You guys have a good night. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Bye.